Mac and cheese is one of my favorite foods and I'm here today to show you the top five places to get mac and cheese in Disney World. If you follow me on TikTok, you may know me from my mac and cheese series, and I figured it was time to do a mac and cheese vlog here on YouTube. So we'll be traveling all around Walt Disney World today so I can show you the best of the best when it comes to mac and cheese. Our first stop brings us to Disney's Animal Kingdom, my favorite park here at Disney World. Where of course, I am getting the baked macaroni and cheese with pulled pork from Flame Tree Barbecue. This is the baked macaroni and cheese with pulled pork. This mac and cheese is topped with smoked pulled pork, onion rings, and coleslaw for $12.49. Upon first glance, I'll tell you that this portion is a lot smaller than it used to be. Don't forget, it usually comes with coleslaw on top, but you guys know me, I'm a no mayo girly, so we can't do any coleslaw. I usually get it without, but picture some coleslaw on here. That's what it usually looks like. Um, of course, you can modify it to get it without, like I did. And I already know what you guys are gonna say. The mac and cheese at eight spoons. That's the one you should get, the mac and cheese at eight spoons. I know, it's good. It's the exact same mac and cheese as this. I will tell you that. I had it like a month ago or something. It is the exact same mac and cheese. It's actually a cheaper. It's a better value in my opinion. You don't get much more here. And that one there, you, you get a great portion for a way cheaper price. So that one is good, but today, we wanted all this loaded, loaded goodness, those onion rings on top. Now I do really love the onion rings on this mac and cheese. I think the onion rings from Flame Tree are fantastic. They are some of the best, honestly, that I've ever had. So I love that this mac and cheese has them on top. I'm probably gonna dig into those first. We'll do the mini onion ring with all that barbecue sauce on there. Did you guys hear that crunch? Such a good onion ring. But enough with the onion rings. It's time to try what you all came here for, this mac and cheese. Let's get a good bite. It's a little bit of everything on there. It looks so good. Now, taste test time. Super cheesy. The pulled pork from Flame Tree has like, it's really good. It's like a great smoky flavor. That barbecue sauce on there really adds to it. Also, you'll notice that a big proponent to mac and cheese for me is the pasta shape. Here we've got cavatappi, which is kind of like a swirly noodle. I don't know why I just did that, but it's like a little bit of a swirly noodle. And it, it's, it's the perfect noodle for this because it lets the, mac, the cheese sauce kind of get into every crevice of the pasta. It's really good. There's, there's definitely a lot of pork on here as well. I'll say the pork to mac and cheese ratio is, is very close. Like I'd say it's like 60% mac and cheese and 40% pork. Personally, I'd like more mac, less pork, but it you're getting a lot of meat for it, so can't complain really. I just wanna point out, Flame Tree is a great place to come and eat here in Animal Kingdom, not only because the food is delicious, but look at this view. I'm kind of just like by myself over here, not really anyone around me, and I've got this fantastic view of Expedition Everest, and I think I hear some characters coming by. Let's see who it is. They're gonna turn around here in just a second. Look at that. It's like a private meet and greet with Pluto and Goofy. <laughs> also, if you do happen to be vegetarian or you don't eat pork, there is still an option for you to try this. Over at Eight Spoons, like I was talking about before, not only do they have a pulled pork mac and cheese over there, a smaller portion, they also have just the mac and cheese without the pork. So you can head over to Eight Spoons, which is just across the way to grab that. That mac and cheese really hit the spot, but it's time to head over to our next park to get mac and cheese number four. Our stop for mac and cheese number four has brought me into Epcot. And I am here in America at Regal Eagle Smokehouse to get the side of mac and cheese. This is the side of macaroni and cheese for $4.99. Regal Eagle is the barbecue restaurant here in America in Epcot. And a lot of people sleep on it because they think, you know, we're in America. We have American food all the time, but don't sleep on it. The barbecue here is really good. And so is the mac and cheese, of course. Now, when you order a meal at Regal Eagle, you get to choose a side and Mac and cheese is my usual go-to when I go to any restaurant, but especially here because I really enjoy it. 
let's get into this and you can see just how much cheese there is like there is so much cheese in this dish this is gonna make my stomach hurt for sure we're not worried about our stomachs today though so let's take a bite again with those cavatappi swirly noodles especially with this one because there is so much cheese sauce that this noodle shape really allows all that cheese to get in there all that cheesy goodness my favorite things about this mac and cheese is that you can tell that they're using like a sharp white cheddar the mac and cheese is so sharp and i love a sharp cheese it's really good i also love i don't know if i can show you guys here and there's not many on here on this one, but they top it with like a nice little crunchy breadcrumb. And I know some people aren't fans of breadcrumbs on mac and cheese, but when done right, I really enjoy it. And it adds like a nice little garlic fresh flavor, a little crunch in there. It's good mac and cheese. And to get this mac and cheese, I have a little bit of a hack for you. So the mac and cheese on the side alone is $4.99. For just a couple dollars more, between eight and nine dollars, you can purchase a kid's meal at Regal Eagle. You can get like ribs, you could get a barbecue chicken drumstick, you could get a cheeseburger, and that comes with two sides that are similar size to this, a little smaller, but pretty similar. So you get two sides, a drink, and that entree for eight to nine dollars. So I usually end up doing that. So if you wanna get the best bang for your buck at Regal Eagle, that's what I recommend you doing so that you can try this delicious, cheesy mac and cheese. Now that we finished mac and cheese number four on our list, it's time to finish our lap around the world showcase, head out of Epcot and to Disney Springs. Luckily, I won't have to go far from Disney Springs once I get there because that is where mac and cheese number one, two, and three are all located. After a short drive over, here we are in Disney Springs where we will spend the rest of our day here. And our stop for mac and cheese, number three on the list, is none other than Chef Art Smith's Homecoming. Let's head inside and check it out. Now I am conquering my fears here. This is my first time ever coming to a sit-down restaurant and sitting alone. Now I'm sitting at the bar. It's still a big step for me, so let's see how this goes. This is the side of Mama's Mac and Cheese for $9. All right, guys, the mac and cheese came out really quick, so don't worry over here. Um, but I'm about to dig into it, and this is number three on my list. I already know that this cheese pull is going to be crazy. How good does that look? Let's take a bite. What I love about this mac and cheese is that crusty baked part on top. It is so cheesy. It's creamy. Uh, again, no, no, absolutely no skipping on the cheese here. It's like a classic baked mac and cheese that your mom used to make. So delicious. I mean this in the best way possible. This mac and cheese does kind of taste like Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese. And I think Chick-fil-A has like one of my favorite mac and cheeses ever. But I do think this is a little bit better. It tastes more homemade. And you know what I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese? All that, those little baked bits that you get on top. And this has like, the whole thing is baked. So you get, you get more of those baked bites and it's just really good. Sometimes what happens when you bake mac and cheese is that the inside gets a little dry and that is totally not the case here. It stays creamy throughout. That mac and cheese was so good. I had to stop myself from eating the whole thing and take the rest to go. But we're kind of backtracking here back to the Lime Garage where I parked to check out spot for number two mac and cheese at Disney World. And of course, I was talking about the Polite Pig. The Polite Pig has the second best mac and cheese at Disney World, in my opinion. Now this mac and cheese is going to be the first mac and cheese that's gonna kind of change things up on us. We're going from all three so far having cavatappi noodles to this one that's gonna have shells. This is the side of mac and cheese with aged cheddar and breadcrumbs for $6. I can just smell the cheesiness of this mac and cheese. I don't even know if that's possible, but you know it's a good sign if you can smell the cheese on your mac and cheese. Like I was saying, the pasta in this mac and cheese is shells. And this is another good pasta to use that in mac and cheese because that inside of the shell there can really scoop up a lot of that cheese sauce. 
But that's not what makes this mac and cheese. What makes this mac and cheese, in my opinion, are these crispy bread crumbs. Actually, I'm not even sure if they're bread crumbs. They might just be like fried cheese pieces, almost like a cheese it on top. It really, really makes this mac and cheese for me. I can already tell you guys, this cheese pole is gonna be where it's at. Oh my God. I can just smell that saltiness and that cheesiness, I'm telling you. First bite, cheers. <laughs> oh my god. The cheese. Another one that, I'm pretty sure they bake it after they put it in the ramekin. It doesn't lose that creaminess at all. It is so creamy and those fried little bits on top, again, I don't think they're breadcrumbs. If they are, they're really well seasoned. But this cheese is sharp, perfect with the shells, and there's so much cheese, you can't go wrong. Just take a look at that. I mean, I, I, I think that this one looks the most appetizing. Would you just look at that? Like you could just tell that this is a good mac and cheese just from the video. And look at how well that cheese sauce is just staying in those mini shells. It really is just, it, it's just the perfect regular mac and cheese. Another mac and cheese is coming with me to go. That'll reheat perfectly later on for dinner. Polite Pig also has some really, really great barbecue, but I think their sides are even better. Every Everything that they serve is really delicious there. I recommend you check it out here in Disney Springs. It's a nice little fast casual spot with that doesn't taste fast casual. It tastes like a sit down gourmet barbecue spot. And with that being said, it is time to hit up our number one mac and cheese in Disney World. I don't know if you guys are ready for it. Before I head over there, I'm gonna address something that I know I'm gonna get a lot of in the comments. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of people recommending the Boathouse and the Grand Floridian's quick service. And I've tried both of them. I've tried about all of the mac and cheese in Disney World. This is my top five. I, the one at the Boathouse, it's okay. I, I don't think it's better than any of the ones I've already listed. And the one at the Grand Floridian, I know I'm gonna get a ton of comments recommending it. It is the same quick service mac and cheese that they serve at every single quick service restaurant across property. I guess in recent years it's changed, but trust me guys, go try it again. It's the same as everywhere else. So this is my top five and I'm sticking to it. But even though this is my top five, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments what your favorite mac and cheese at Disney World is. Who knows, maybe I haven't tried them all and I'll discover a new one and go try it out. All right guys, we did it. We made it to our final stop of the day. Our number one mac and cheese is at none other than Wine Bar George. When you think of Wine Bar George, I'm sure you don't think of mac and cheese. The wine here is delicious, the beverages here are delicious, and so is all the food, especially those crispy fried mac and cheese bites. And since I am here solo, I'm just gonna come right next door to the basket, the little to-go window here at Wine Bar George to grab them. These are the crispy mac and cheese bites, served with tomato sauce and pecorino for $16. These mac and cheese bites are fried to perfection and just piping hot. Like just holding this is hot. And I didn't even know that you could get them to go at that outside window. I thought you had to sit down. So I was pleasantly surprised at that. So it's a good treat if you're just walking around, not even wanting to stop anywhere, just grab something quick. But I do think this is a fork and knife bite. You cannot, they are so hot and, and so, I know they're gonna be so creamy on the inside. Like it's just gonna go everywhere if I try to pick it up and eat it. So although it's a mac and cheese bite, you gotta use your fork and knife. We're gonna break into this bad boy here and just get right into all that cheesy goodness. Another mac and cheese that you could just smell it. You can smell it. It's just falling apart right on my fork, but let's go for it. It's been so long since I've had these. I'm, I'm very excited to be reunited. I think that the little bit of a bite that it has is from the Parmesan cheese that they use in there. And when you think of mac and cheese, 
you don't think like, oh, let's add some tomato sauce on it. I don't know what it is, but the tomato sauce on top of these fried mac and cheese bites, it, it really is a match made in heaven. And you can absolutely see how creamy that mac and cheese is in there. And you know, another thing, just like with Polite Pig, when you, and Homecoming, when you fry and like throw extra heat on mac and cheese, on already creamy mac and cheese, sometimes it really does dry it out. But with this one, same thing. Sometimes you get those fried mac and cheese bites, they're super dry. Nope, not here. Perfectly creamy, perfectly cheesy with that oh, fried outside. This is true perfection. And you might be saying, Kristen, that doesn't count as mac and cheese. Yes, it does. I think this counts as mac and cheese. It is a version of mac and cheese. Mac and cheese in its best version. Fry, like, take already good mac and cheese and then bread it and fry it. Like, it, it's just so good. And add tomato sauce on there. It's chef's kiss, 10 out of 10. Wine Bar George is just such a cozy spot to go in with your friends, grab some wine, and have a great meal. And if you go, if you decide to do that, make sure you do not miss these fried mac and cheese bites. They are my favorite mac and cheese in all of Walt Disney World. You don't want to miss them. After eating all of that mac and cheese, I mean, I do have a bag to go. I am exhausted. So I think I'm gonna relax here for a little bit before I head home. So I will leave you guys here. If you followed along for all five, I really appreciate you watching. It was such a good time and as good of a time I had, I am so stuffed, <laughs> so stuffed. I don't think I'm gonna be able to look at, at a mac and cheese for quite a while, but it was all really good and worth it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you guys like this video and subscribe and also comment and let me know your favorite mac and cheese at Disney World. Bye guys.